Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Autodesk Fusion and this little text model we have in front of us, so we have some text extruded straight but with an angled top face there are a couple different workflows we can do for this but I'm going to show you the one I prefer it gives me a stable model but a flexible model I can change the text, I can change the text style or font and I can change the angle of the face we have here the top face of the text so, let's create a new design, just an empty design. I will not save this time, always remember otherwise start by saving. So we're going to start with a sketch. From, yes, do it from the top. The first thing I'm going to sketch is the text. The text is driving everything else in the design. So I'm going to start with that. Let's do uh, Fusion. Don't forget after the update with parametric text, we need the hyphens. You can see it says it somewhere here. Uh, enter characters between the two hyphens because uh, to create a text parameter. So font style. Yeah, let's do area black, bold, 20 millimeters height, and I'm gonna make a line center and a line middle because I want this text to be in the center of the text box. Gonna hit OK. L for line, let's make a construction line because I want this box to be center point between this diagonal and here. Keeps the box centered around the center of the, of the design workspace. Uh, a small thing, the text box can be rotated, so we're going to fix it down by using a horizontal constraint. And now we're going to start adding some dimensions. D for dimension. This line here, let's make it 55, so it can be the height of our box in that direction, and let's give it a width, 140, yeah, but that's good. So now we have like, this text box is going to be used for the size of the rectangle of the final box. The problem is, these lines here are obviously, they look like construction lines, but I can't change the type they are. They are the text box but we can project them. But before we move on, we're going to need one more line. For simplicity, I'm just going to make this from midpoint here over to midpoint here. I'm going to make sure it's not a construction line, it's a normal line. This is the center of the uh, plane we're going to use to give us the angle top face. We are done what we need in this sketch, so I'm going to do finish sketch. I'm going to move up to the next sketch. Great. New sketch same plane, hit P for project and now we can project in the text box and get ourselves a close profile. I'm gonna finish sketch, let's open up our sketch browser so we can see our two fully defined sketches. Number one, I want to extrude the box. I'm gonna hide the text, E for extrude, select the box. I want to extrude downwards because we have a line, just turn on the first sketch again, we have this line here, and that's going to be the angle of our plane. We want that on the top face. So I'm going to do it minus 15 millimeters, like that. When we have started extruding our box, we can now hide the rectangle box and activate our text box. So we're going to extrude the text. We're going to cut away so we get an opening where we can place the angle text in. We could do this uh, all the way down. The problem, let's do that, uh, distance, two objects, let's set our back face here, so we cut it all the way, but if we do that, if we open up our bodies, we can see we suddenly have two bodies, because we need, we're going to hide the sketch, we have a center body of the O here, and that can cause problems later, because if we change the number of bodies, things like join and combine will fail, so we're going to edit our extrude here, and make sure we do two objects, but we're going to give it offset of minus one millimeter. So, where are you? Oh, sorry, distance. That's going to be two objects, select down here, and then the offset, come on, minus one. That means that extrude, if we're looking from the side, is not going all the way. It goes almost to the bottom, but it stops before. I'm going to hit OK. So now we still have, if I hide the sketch, we have a cutout, but we have one single body. Turn on our first sketch again. We need an angle plane, so just use plane at angle. You find it under construct, plane at angle. I made a shortcut up here. Select our little line in the first sketch. Let's see, 10 degrees. That's the wrong direction, so I'm going to do minus 10 degrees, hit OK. 
Gonna hit E for extrude once again. Gonna once again select our text. In this case, we're gonna not start from a profile plane because we need to start from the bottom. So we're gonna start from object, select the bottom of the design, and where do we wanna go? Distance, gonna go the extend type to object and to our little plane. Of course, Fusion will think, oh, you wanna cut again? No, 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 no. I wanna do a join now. And gonna hit OK. Now that ugly plane is in ways, so you're going to hide it and I'm going to hide the sketch. You can see we have made our little model. So now let's see if we can change things. We can even change some of these directly from our parameter box. I change parameter. Let's open up. Can we change our plane? Minus 20 degrees. Or we can do the other way around. 10 degrees. Yes, you can see it suddenly marks the, the plane here. Let's do that uh, minus 15. Can we change our text? We can change our text from here. Uh, hello. And we can change our text. But it gets a bit more powerful if we edit our first sketch. Here we can see the text. We can edit the text by double clicking on it. We can do, yeah, we can have hello. We can change the font style. Let's do some. Isn't there some crazy fonts deep down below here? Where is it? There are some straight. Let's see if we can take a straight font and see if that works. That's a nice one. Gonna make it slightly bigger. Let's make it 25 millimeters. Gonna hit OK. So now I see my first guess because I can see the text here. I think, OK, that's a bit too wide. Let's make it 120, 115. So I've changed the text. I change the font style and I change the size of the box because I make my first sketch, the rest is projected, hit finish sketch and our model updates. So this is how I will make this face over angle text face here and with a stable model maintaining one body the whole time so we will avoid problems with how if you change the text. I hope you found something useful in the video. That's it. Take care. See you around and goodbye.